We're gonna introduce you to Leslie Porterfield. This lady is not only stunningly beautiful, she is a racer. She has crashed at over 180 miles an hour and is the fastest woman on two wheels in the world. It's my first time on the Bonneville Salt Flats in 2007. Uh, I did come off the bike at well over 100 miles an hour and broke seven ribs, punctured a lung, and had a concussion, and I was bruised just about head to toe. It was a physical setback, but I didn't let it become a mental setback. I, I came back, um, actually ran the last event of the year at El Mirage uh, eight weeks after crashing on just a stock bike, and it, it felt really good to get back out there. My doctor thought I was crazy for hopping back on a bike in competition eight weeks after breaking my ribs. I was still sleeping, uh, sitting up at that point. <laughs> Going back to Bonneville the following year, uh, I had amazing success. And I was, I was very determined to overcome it. My first, my first pass on the salt, I had somebody come up and ask, hey, you know, are, you, are you scared? Because the last time you were right here, you crashed. And I, <laughs> I kind of looked at him and said, no, I, I, I can't be. There's just not, there's not any room for that. If, if I had been scared and worried about crashing again, I really had no place to be there. So I just kept focused on what I need to do to be successful and tried to minimize the risks as I do every time. And uh, so far it's been, it's been really good sense. I, I definitely don't want to crash again, but unfortunately that's part of racing and it's part of Bonneville. There's, there's risks involved and there's really risks involved in most things that we do, some things more than others and I just try to minimize those risks and go as fast as I can to reach my goals. 2008, I broke my first record and that got me into the Bonneville 200 mile per hour club. I was the first woman on a conventional motorcycle to do so in their over 60 years of existence. Uh, so a little history made there and followed up by the production 1000 record which I blew that away with some heavy competition and then set a record over 230 miles an hour and uh, kind of kept going faster since then. This year has been a little chaotic. It's a week before the race and I have a bike in the back in pieces and have been working on it quite a bit. and. Uh, definitely have some dirty hands and parts and pieces everywhere. It's a little bit of an unexpected hiccup in the planning. I had everything planned out so well, but of course it's racing. So it just seems like no matter what, uh, a lot of stuff is last minute. So unfortunately I do have a few things very, very apart right now and gonna be spending the next few nights uh, pulling small lighters trying to get things done. I love what I do. I love going out to Bonneville and I often get asked, you know, aren't you afraid of crashing and getting hurt or worse? And, you know, all I can say is I love what I do and I'm not going to put my life on hold and worry about the worst case scenario. I, I love my life. I have a wonderful life and I try to minimize the risks and I accept the fact that it is dangerous. Uh, there are dangers involved in racing um, and it's just, it's just part of it. If it was easy, everyone would do it.
Uh, this week I've accomplished two records. A um, very difficult record was getting the production bike record, production 1000. Got it to 200.1 miles an hour, so that was a huge accomplishment to get a 1000cc bike over 200. That it was a great, great feeling. Just got into really great runs and got it just barely over 200. So uh, went out this morning on on uh, my 50cc record and just set the slowest record in the world on a motorcycle. It uh, looks like I I think I've achieved a single digit just over nine miles an hour, just under 10 miles an hour. So uh, great, great event. You know, it's been really great. So doing a little work on the my big turbo bike and hoping to get out and make a couple of passes even faster. Wonderful. The other end of the spectrum from going really slow to going really fast. It was a shame losing half a day to the wind, but that it happens out here. It was uh, pretty darn windy. My name is Leslie Porterfield and I am a land speed racer.